Yeah, that's gonna be pretty interesting, you know? Sean's a good friend of mine, I know him a lot of years. You know, uh, yeah, that's really fun. You know, that he's a great guy, I haven't seen him in a minute. He did a phenomenal record for us back in, in 19, in 85 when he did the illustrations. And he actually did two record sleeves for us. One we ended up using for t-shirts and then the one for the record. And then he also did the poster, which was different. It was three different things that Sean did for us back then. And, uh, you know, besides of him being a phenomenal artist back then, he was part of the scene. So we always work with people that were part of the scene, you know, like everybody always contributed something. He was contributing art to a lot of bands. Not, I mean, before us, he was basically doing them all the Chromag stuff. Then he did us, then he did uh, Crumb Suckers, he did Whiplash, you know, and then it just escalated, you know, from there on, you know. Me and Roger were talking about artwork and stuff. It was like, I, I feel a little more like this is like very thrashy record and, um, that's got that really fast, thrashy, older school vibe to it. That's kind of like, course for a long did so I said why don't we ask Sean Taggart to do it and you know funny things like Facebook bring people together and stuff like that and social media whatever and I've been watching him you know because we're friends anyway but I've been watching all the work he's been doing lately and he did this one illustration or painting about a year and a half ago I was mind-blowing it had this the characters of cause for alarm that's when the bug got in my head I, I, I remember pretty telling him oh that's awesome I'd be a sick cover and uh, obviously he sold it to somebody, whatever. It was just little characters in different, like the kind of the world's end, but the characters were alive. And I'm like, now nah, was the time. Now was the time to, you know, to bring him back, you know, and, and give it a shot. I was gonna do like a, kind of a, like a throwback of uh, like the Cause for Alarm album, so that's pretty cool. And just set him off, tell him I like this, I like that, I like what's going on here, I like what's going on in the world, and whatever we talk. And then he just went to work. And I told him, I want this to be dirty, green, grungy, like your like that work back in 1986. I want it to look like you're looking at the Cause for Alarm record, you turn the page and there's the Get Loud page record. And then you turn the page and there's the t-shirt. The you know, like it's like direct output out of it. Bookends. Bookends, exactly. So you haven't seen anything yet? No. I want to be surprised, I like that, you know?